Hi guys, it's B. Brubaker here, and I'm back with another electricity episode. And I've been doing quite a bit of work um, while I was gone, or while you guys were gone. Um, so I haven't built a house over there yet or anything. And I haven't done just a whole lot more on the mob spawner underground. But I did do some work here in the hallway. Uh, put in some chests. Basically I've labeled them to where we can see, you know, tools, armor, miscellaneous, sand, dirt, cobblestone, blocks, gravel, um, got food here, wood, saplings, things, uh, mob drops, especially the ender pearls, woohoo! Um, and then we have here, our west village, which you guys have seen, and this new one, the house. Um, basically what I did is I've started building another house and working out here. Um, you can see I've got some steps here. If we look, I've got steps that go up this direction and up and over that direction all the way to the top. Um, that's probably where I'm going to put my nether portal. Kind of want to put it up high so it's up out of the way. And if you put it higher in your world, then you'll spawn higher in the nether too. Um, but I'm not sure if that's a total benefit. Um, but anyway, if we come up this direction, we can turn the steps to the left here. And we've got a house here. So well, I'll come up and give you a little tour here. We've got a side door down here. Maybe come up above the ground. And what I'm going to end up doing, we'll end up putting a porch and stuff out here. But this is my house so far. Just kind of a little, I'm going to call it a little temporary house. Um, which is, you know, it's just all wood, no decorations. I don't have any anything outside. But if we come inside, this would be like your main uh, living area. We'll set up like a living room, kind of a... Um, Maybe do a kitchen. We've got just a chest here for now with some stuff. And working on a fireplace. It's a little tall. Trying to basically what I'll do is go to the nether, put some nether rack in there. We can light it. Um, but I'm gonna have to see, make sure we don't burn down the house. That would not be good. Then we have our staircase over here. So I decided up uh, roof is still open, not out, not been enclosed yet. Um, come out on this this beam here it's kind of like a ridge beam uh, overlook the house there but just outside here wanted to be able to just kind of overlook the farm but glass so I could look straight down and then this little cover here keeps uh, rain out just kind of protect you also so you can't can't jump out really you can still shoot out you know if you see a mobs or something over there in the distance you can do that um, and then if we continue down the steps, which I just made each stairs out onto this floor, and then if we go down another flight of stairs, comes into what it maybe it'll feel like a little smaller room, uh, but you can see we've got a a room here. Whoop, got a pressure plate. Got another room here. You can see the hey bottom of the fireplace there. And then we have just a little little dining table here that kind of overlooks down. And then my bedroom for now. So it's just kind of a temp bed right now. And then this is my chest of goodies. Uh, we've got several emeralds, some diamonds. I would like to get more diamond eventually. And we'll, yeah, work through there. So if we go down below now, down our steps, dun da da And my next vi last video I had left off, um, you can see I've, I've now gotten some chickens. Oh, there's a few more eggs. And no chickens. Uh, this is the cows. They're coming along quite nicely. I hollowed that out a little bit. Kind of there. Underneath. Wheat farm. That carrots and potatoes is over there. But anyway, this is our house. And like I said, it's not done. We need a roof up there on top. And then I'm wanting to do some sort of support column design coming from here either back into the mountain or with the size of it I thought I'd just bring it down right towards the chicken farm and we might have to end up just building a barn or something for these chickens and the cows um, man so many eggs let's just go ahead and jump over here to actually give you know a barn where we can have a pen and you know have our animals in a proper storage so here we've gotten just to be able to keep uh, eggs as I'm gathering them. Um, it's plenty, but you know what? Such as it is, we'll deal with that. And then back in here. Oop, 
Missed the door. This is just my setup now. Oh, we do have some brick in here. Let's go ahead and just grab that. I had found some clay. Ah, yeah, now we have some more blocks. That's perfect. And I believe this one is brick. Cobblestone, sand, dirt, wood, saplings. Uh, basically, I got a shears here. I want to go out and I was going to go get some um, trees and some leaves, actually, for plants and stuff there at the house. But I think this episode, I want to really focus on getting into the nether. Um, at least get my nether portal built. Get in there, kind of explore. And... Well, I need some netherrack for my fireplace up there. And then just be able to have a quick access to some lava. I know I've got two buckets of water and uh, tools. Yeah, I don't really have... I'll need one of those. Don't really have but two buckets. So I might have to make another one. So let's do this teleport to the house. Up there, that just brings us right here to the house. So just save us a little time of walking. And one... There we go. I guess we can stay there in that. Two. We might as well get two of each. That way we can have a... There we go. Like that. And then you'll notice this door here. I put on a pressure plate with the other button. Chest doesn't... But that button there will then send you right back down to here where we're at. So quick transport up and down. And then in this room, you can see both of these rooms are just pretty much vacant. Um, you know, I'll maybe make one a bedroom, one maybe a, I don't know. But we've got this little room here off of this room. You can come in here. Ah, downwards. So these chests don't have anything in yet, but you can see nothing. But if we run down the steps, I will show you that dirt right there comes out in our cow pen. So it's kind of like a back escape, whatever, or if we need it in, don't want to go out the front. Gives you kind of a second way into the house. Um, so yeah, let's gear up now. Let's head to the nether. Ooh, where are we going? And we want to get some... I better make another iron pickaxe. That's... Oh, and I just was up there at the iron. I want to make sure I'm geared. That, yeah, it looks like that sword's about gone too. So let's just do this. No, crud. Speed clicking here and not doing what I need to. Okay, so there's a pickaxe. And there's a sword. Let's just use it. Gone. All gone. Um, how's our armor? I think we're pretty decent. We've got... Okay, our bow is power one and breaking one, which is, is decent for ghast. Um, let's leave some of this stuff here. We don't need it. Okay, so tools, armor, we don't need the bow. We need this to light our, our flint and steel. Wood, let's just put the button away there. I'm going to take two stacks of cobble just because. I'm not going to take the glass though, I don't believe we'll need that. And I do want enough wood. If we want to make a chest. Oh no, we have a, a bench. We can make a chest in the, the nether. So what I'm assuming... Oh, this is what our deal is. We need those diamonds to make a diamond pickaxe. I don't think I have made a diamond... Oh, we have chest. Let's take a couple of those. And we have an iron sword. Sheesh. Um, obsidian. We have three. So let's go back to the house. Get those diamonds. We need to make a diamond pickaxe. 
And those two we'll have to use for the enchanting table. Dun da da da. That. That. There. There. Okay. Now we can get our obsidian. And I'm hoping that we can get that from down below uh, in the vicinity of the skeleton spawner. Because I know if we go from the skeleton spawner, and this will be another, what I'll do is when I get to the bottom, we'll have to take our... Let's run, thank you. Take our coordinates and set up a command block to go down here to the skeleton spawner because once we get it set up we want to have it be man where is it at here I haven't been down here for okay so this is the skeleton spawner here which is enclosed already I believe and if we go this way this is where the lava is Take that, take that. Oh, this looks like lots of good lava. Um, okay, we've got a couple, but we might as well just do this. And now we do know that there is lava underneath. And I hear bad things. So what let's do here just for a second. Actually let's just leave that water there. That will... There now they can't get to us and we can mine in peace. And with that water there it should take out the lava below when the obsidian is harvested. Now did we get it? Yes we did. Okay well I'm going to work on getting me a handful of obsidian here and then I will cut back and see you here in just a second. Okay and I'm back and I've got 19 obsidian there. I just went ahead and cleaned this out. You can see there's lava underneath. There's lava behind here. Lava behind here. But then this here all the rest of this I believe is just a single layer. So anyway, we've got 19. I wanted a couple extra. I want to make a full uh, portal. I know you can only need you only need 10 for a portal, but I want to go ahead and just use the full 14 just for aesthetic looks. Um, and then I want four extras for my enchanting table, and then that'll give us about four or so to build with or whatever um, if we need. So while I'm down here, I just forgot we want to write down our spawner coordinates and I hear a zombie but I don't know where he's at right now and I don't feel like just dealing with him because we have a mission right now that we're trying to get to so can we get to our spawner from this direction and I have not been down there yet Oh, that's right, we have this loop here. Yeah, it has been a while. Okay, so that's our drop already set. Yeah, we got skeletons spawning. We've got them climbing the ladder. Let's run up this real quick. And see here, I forget what all we've done up top if we're... Hi, we're climbing right with a skeleton. Um, nope. Okay, so they're just set just to fall. We don't have any sort of door. I'd like to set a um, redstone, either a lever or a button um, that would be down here that I can control because what I need to do is we need to trap them up top and then the spawner will continue to spawn as long as we're within a proximity. But as we let them fall, if 
we want them to fall and I'll get the, the correct height to where they fall here without dying we want them just to be a one hit kill so we can come in and pop 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 like that but see they're just dying now we want to just be able to pop them and get the XP points uh, so just now you can see I've got hoppers underneath this half slab that collect all their items and put them right into here so as they fall even if I'm not around to pick them up the items won't despawn because they simply fall and they absorb the hopper will pull them through the block so either side here we can punch through um, oh yeah look at all this obsidian lava sheesh well anyway uh, I do know this is a a quick trip to the top we can get to the surface pretty quick this way and again I'm forgetting about the spawner coordinates so let's just go like right here and I'm going to write this down alrighty got that wrote down we can go ahead and get rid of that and if you guys needed that was the coordinates uh, for the skelly spawner so if you're in this world then you can find it so now we will head to the top bum, ba, da, bum. We're going to make another portal, we can get lava, we can get nether rack. And I don't know where these skeleton or skeleton zombies are, but anyway. I think if I showed you guys where this comes out here, if we just come straight up from the, the skeleton spawner, it's right into our tunnel. I mean this like this worked out perfect for us. Nom nom. Run run. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna put in the obsidian for the portal here without any building around it but then what I've got plans I want to build a enclosure kind of a structure around it kind of make it fancy stuff uh, but I'm just trying to think here if we do another portal up top there well let's just go over here and see so if we have another portal up here what it would look like like I don't know where we want to put our enchanting room because as soon as we get our nether portal built we can make our uh, enchanting room also now that we've got a obsidian and we maybe could make it over there on top of that peak kind of looking back this way because see we'll have command blocks to jump between them so I think if we do that yeah we want to set this do I have a shovel I'm going to probably knock off these top couple layers. So I think for now, this will look just good here. I don't want to go too far because that's overhanging off the end there. And this here should be far enough back because our stairs come up here. We can have the entrance of our room into there and then through here. Let's get one more layer. Okay, that looks dumb. I guess I'll just have to take the tree down because I'm going to take all these trees down anyway. I just didn't want to do it on camera. I figured I'd do it off of camera. Um, okay, good enough. So I think we should just do it right here. Come in out one. Boom. And we messed up already. Double clicking too fast and double placing come on come on come on break it now go 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 gadget diamond pickaxe there we go boom there we go there we go so our opening is two by three There we go. Let me jump over. No, double hitting buttons now. Haha. -ha. It's a good deal. So we've got those five. Boom. And just thinking about this, do we not um, get an achievement for that? Let's see. Diamonds taken build a portal 
to the nether. Okay, we just did. Return to cinder requires we need to go deeper. Okay. Into a fire. Well, let's just do this. Water don't work. I want some cobblestone so we can quickly block off the, the portal when we get in. And here. I knew I brought these for a reason. Just for now. There we go. Now we can walk in. No, you can't place them through. I was going to try to place them on the back side. Hey, come back here, block. Well, that's all right. Let's just go through with it. We shall... Yes, we need to go deeper. Got it. That is our goal here. Let's spawn. Okay, this is pretty decent. Um, we have... We're pretty much enclosed... Ooh, getting some lag spikes here while we load the spawn. So let's go ahead and put some torches here. Just kind of letting the nether load here for a second. So we've got the chunks in. I don't like the fire around. Mushrooms, we can always use those. Okay, and this is super good for XP. Do we have room for it? Yes, we do. Grab some of this stuff. Yummy, yummy. Yeah, I like this being kind of protected from gas. It kind of gives us a, a base that we can come into. Yeah, I figured that was about gone. Hey, will stone get these? Or is that... Yeah, it's a little slower, I guess, but... I need to kind of use it up here. Okay, let's wreck some netherrack for a bit. Perfect. I'm not going to get too much here on camera. Like I said, I don't want to bore you guys. You're here for the action and things, so... Good enough for me. I do want to check out our coordinates here at the portal. So we shall check that. Alrighty, we got those wrote down there. Now we have our coordinates. That way if we are out here exploring, uh, we ever get lost, we can just start digging our way back home. We just always want to make sure we have at least a backup pickaxe or something so that we don't get stranded without tools trying to dig through. Uh, so anyway, guys, I think we made it to the nether. We got some um, nether rack and things. And I think what I'm going to do is we'll just go ahead and continue on recording here before we take a too long a break again. And we will keep working. So with that, guys, I will see you back again. I guess we should head back through our portal just to make sure that it takes us to our house and not to some other random location. Perfect. So anyway, with that, guys, we will... There we go. See you later. Okay, thanks for watching.